a basic question is posed by a non-Muslim that Dr. Zakir Naik said Islam is free and we see that he's promoting his videos on the social media, on YouTube and he's selling his video, he's, he's getting money. So if Islam is free, then how come he's getting money and he's earning more money? He's earning more by preaching Islam than what you are earning before. And I agree with the person 100%. I am earning more sawab, more blessings for the akhirah by preaching Islam than what I was doing earlier as a medical doctor. I agree with him. But as far as acquiring money is concerned, never in my life, alhamdulillah, I have charged for any of my books or my videos or any of my work or any of my services of Islam. All my lectures that I give are free. The books that our trust prints is given distributed free. There are other people who are printing my books and they are selling and selling Islamic books is not haram. I give them permission. You can copy my book, you can print my book, you can sell them, you can give them free, you can make money. I have got no objection. Anyone prints my book and sells it, it's better than printing books which are haram. Printing Islamic book, inshallah, you'll get sawab. But as far as I'm concerned, I never sell any of my books. If we distribute my books, it is absolutely given free. I don't charge for copyrights also, not to a thing. People are willing to offer large amounts for copyrights of my book. I said, no, I cannot give you exclusive copyrights for my books. You want, you can print it, let others also print. Same from CDs, all my social media accounts are absolutely free. Even the PSTV is free. In the social media account, what happens that other people copy my videos and they give ads which I've, I, don't, I don't object. Many people to get more views, they put photographs of actresses. You know, and I've never spoken about that. I said, and then once I see that, Zakir Naik speaks on Padmavati. I said, what is this Padmavati? When I Google, I come to know it's the latest movie that had come. So they are doing this to attract, which I don't agree it is correct. So if they are doing something wrong, they will get the money. But as far as the sawab is concerned, the millions that are watching will come to me. So none of my activities, Islamic activities ever have I charged for. The only activity that uh, my trust also has ever charged is for the school that also it is not a profit. We have spent crores of rupees, millions of dollars running the school. It's not profit making at all. And neither do I take any, any remuneration from my trust. I don't take any salary. Even when I go for giving lectures, the clause is there in the lecture that I will pay my own etiquette. I will take care of my own hotel accommodation. Only thing you have to arrange for the visa. That's my condition. But if the host forces me and doesn't allow me to pay for the hotel, I cannot force. But the ticket always I bear. Unless it is from a government. If I'm the official guest of the head of state, I cannot argue too much. If I'm being called by a king and by the president or prime minister of a country, that is the time I don't insist that I pay for my own ticket. But otherwise, always, even the awards that I've got uh, for, the, uh, for the King Faisal Award, I got $200,000, that is 750,000 riyal. And even for the Holy Quran, award from Dubai, a million dirham, that is more than 270,000 US dollars. All of that, I donated for works. So, but let me tell you, if someone takes salary for dawa, it is not haram, as long as he does not charge more than his market value. But as far as I am concerned, I don't take because I want, I want more sawa. Because I left my profession and I do not charge for any of my activities. In fact, I spend from my own side. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed me. I spend few hours, I used to spend a few hours in business, maybe a couple of days in a month during holidays. And alhamdulillah, I used to make millions of dollars in a year. And majority of my earnings is to go in charity. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me more in this world also. Alhamdulillah. If I had done my medical profession, I wouldn't have earned millions of dollars in a year. Not at all. I don't think so. But because I'm doing in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the small businesses I do, it gives me, alhamdulillah, a lot of profit. That is the reason I could send, you know, crores of rupees, millions of dollars back to India. It's my hard-earned money. And majority of it, I give to charity. Alhamdulillah. And all the social media platforms, even Peace TV. The Peace TV was started, the company was started from our money, but it was waqf. If I want to commercialize Peace TV, imagine 200 million people watching. And if I say, let the normal charges 
for a monthly subscription for a channel is five dollars even if i charge two dollar and out of 200 million even if two percent suppose pay that is four million multiply by two dollar i get eight million dollars a month multiply by 12 close to 100 million dollars and the cost is just a small portion of that but what am i going to do with this money this money cannot buy me jannah because the moment I start charging, the viewership will come down to 1%. And now 25% of the viewership are non-Muslims on the Peace TV network. If it comes down to 1% and no non-Muslim non -Muslim is watching, what will I do with the money? For the money, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that you offer two rakat, sunnah, before the Fajr Salah. And that is more valuable than the earth and the wealth in it. So if you truly love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and understand Islam, the money, the value of the sahab is multiple times more than the money. But if you go for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the akhirah, Allah says in the Quran, if you strive for akhirah, Allah will give akhirah in the dunya also. And Allah has given me millions of times much more than what I deserve. Hundreds of million times. I don't deserve the fame, I don't deserve the wealth, the earning. And Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah, even if I thank a billion times to Allah for what He has given to me, it would not be sufficient. I will not be scratching even a surface. It will not be a drop in the ocean.